All right. I know I'm going to hear this in the comments, so I'm going to just clear out the elephants in the room. This is the fifth video I've made of the T90A, okay? I'm not trying to make it a big habit here, but for some reason, Gaijin just doesn't want to leave this thing alone while also doing exactly that. It'll make sense in a quick minute, all right? But I just want to knock this out too. All of the footage you're going to be seeing today was taken from my live stream made here on YouTube. So if you're kind of experiencing this for the second time, uh, I apologize for that. To those who are just watching it now, disregard the previous. If that kind of makes sense. I've been moving some of the streams here to YouTube and it has been a ton of fun. That's right, channel memberships are going to be uh, getting some more emotes and some more perks. Uh, the Discord server has the section for it, so it synchronizes there as well. If you want to join that, by all means. And it's an easy way to support me as a creator. Oh man, I didn't want to show this out today, but you know what? Let's talk more about the T90A. Now, what changed about this? Absolutely nothing. And that's a good thing. If you weren't paying attention to some of the changes that happened in War Thunder recently, Gaijin has moved top tier to a new environment. They now play at a battle rating 11.7. Whereas this thing plays the old, old top tier, which is battle rating 10.7, which has long since been moved up. But Gaijin decided to leave it here. And now the T90A is a full BR below top tier, which means that this thing can get those really good down tiers. And when you pair this thing with its decent armor, I mean, it's what you would expect from a T72 type vehicle. The T90 is more or less just the best T72, but not really more to the historical context a little bit later but it gets the best round the russians get now this thing double whammy i know this thing hits hard when it hits it spalls like no other if you've been fighting the t80 bvms you should know exactly what this shell is capable of it has the same missiles it has the same everything including a laser warning system and laser range finder combined which is very nice but unfortunately you lose the good fragmentation round for this I don't use it. I know you can blaze with dart and then switch to this. That's just too much of a hassle. I'm not doing that. <laughs> so we're not going to be using this at all. But at battle ring 10.7, Gen 2 thermal sights, amazing optics. If I can go ahead and find it here. Look at those gun sights. This thing is a sniping all down beast. Although the turret isn't as strong as I'd like it to be. It can still get the job done. But the Achilles heel, mobility, right? 60 kilometers an hour. What? four kilometers in reverse so you kind of understand or are starting to understand why this thing sits at battering 10.7 when the rest have moved up to 11.3 11.7 i think now 11.7 well i'd rather go ahead and show you so with all that being said let's take this bad boy out and see is it worth a final revisit it's probably not the final final but i'm gonna assume it is let's begin Unfortunately, I'm not taking the gauntlet. I'm not going to run it like that. I'm going to run it to the back a little bit, kind of snipe him uh, just a teeny tiny bit. And once I feel comfortable, I'll move up. Holy crap, I forgot how responsive this thing is. Oh, here we go. Fast boy coming up. Oh, <laughs> uh, you poor little bastard. That's all right. I got a bill. That's a very, very scary vehicle. God damn, I don't trust that. There it is. All right, he fired. Woo! <laughs> All right. Thank you. That, that's the only thing that had me worried, man, was those two missiles. But we're good now. Either I'm listening to my teammate in front of me, or there is somebody else that shouldn't be in front of me. That made sense. Oh, Puma. Got his cannon breach. Ha! I shot through the building. Please don't laze me. That's that's a missile of some sort. Engine transmission. Oy! <sighs> this is how it goes. These drones, they just they just come after me. 
I am super lucky today. Yeah, man. I get it. Another full down tier. Um, and although, let's be honest here. You know, premiums and everything. But it doesn't look like there's many. Until the KBT comes in. That'll be fun. Oh, snap. Boop. Oh, got his engine. Oh, yes. Nice try, buddy. And I like how he just leaves his buddy, too. He's not even going to try to help him. <laughs> and they got him. The guy's like, nope. Goodbye, teammate. You're on your own, buddy. I got multiple, I think. There he is. Engine, engine. Perfect. What does Takimo mean? Damn. Just missed it. I think he's right here. There he is, yep. Right where I left you, buddy. I still got him. Don't know where from. Oh, here we go. Got one. I think right there. Yep. Leopard. And I got his track. Oh, he's pivoting. They got him. Perfect. Sorry, I was focusing on this guy in here. I don't know what or who is there. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is so satisfying. Dude, this VNet's two round is just nuts. Contact. Run. All right, guys. Commander ammo. Hey. Hi. Oh, shit. Oh, and he screwed up. Oh, he dinged up his shot, dude. That is absolutely brilliant. All right, I don't know what else I broke on him. I just only saw his commander go out. There you are, buddy. Oof. <laughs> no, he tried. Oh, wait, are you still alive? I, I looked at him and I thought... Okay. Dude, I am... Of course I'm going to bully the hell out of people. I mean, I'm nice. I'm a T90 in a full down tier. This is, they're going to move this thing up to 11-0. I guarantee it. They're going to at some point. But for right now, I'm going to enjoy the hell out of this. I'm Searchlight in the back. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, are you from Searchlight? Oh. Oh. I got lucky. I caught him at the last second. But I think Russian bias just kind of saved my butt a little bit. Cool. Did you guys hear about the uh, the capture T90 over in I think Louisiana? I think it was either Kentucky or Louisiana. It was it was around those areas, but I'm pretty sure it was Louisiana. It was just sitting in a gas station, uncovered, no tarp, nothing. It captured genuine Russian T90. I mean, if that's not the biggest you know dick in your face kind of moment, I I don't know what else really is. But now that I look at this, I'm thinking, hmm. Oh, Lichtenstein, are you going to make a custom skin for us? Because uh, now is the perfect time to do it. Ooh, I got one over here. Oh, no. Oh, no, he got my teammate. Does he see me? I don't think he sees me. Oh, shit balls. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I think he's right here. Yes, he is. A little bit more to the right. The truck broke down. Still, an uncovered T90 is amazing. Gotcha. Someone else is getting me. Second target, don't, or uh, third target. I don't know where from. There he is. Woo! Hi. <laughs> Wait, the drone got him? How? Holy shit, we're nine kills deep. Missile carrier of some sort. There he is. Well, it's amazing how fast that thing is, to be honest. I, I can't, I, I forget the name, like the IPS TV or something like that. Uh, no, the IT PSV. I don't know why I said that, but it's just so confusing. You know, I've yet to play that thing. I don't mind him capturing the B point. I can probably get my nuke if he does. Or since, I mean, since he did, but. Oh. 
Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Let me kill him. 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 I get to have my nuke. I have a general idea of where he's at. And I might be able to play it to my advantage, but... Gotcha. <laughs> I saw his shadow. There it is, ladies and gents. There's my nuke. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring it out. Only reason why I was able to uh, to do that was because I saw his shadow for a split moment. And that's all it took. Well, I, I know how to drop a nuke. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Now, the question is, can we make it in time? Probably will be able to, but we'll see. Holy crap. This is going to be really, really close. Maybe not too close, you know? My four clicks. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm just trying not to hit some invisible tree because that's usually how my luck goes is I hit some tree and drops. Woo! <laughs> yes! Full down tier in the T90. I haven't gotten a nuke in one in a hot minute, too. I'll take it. How much is my setup cost in total? Oddly enough, I can't really say. Uh, I can't put a number on it. My setup has been pieced uh, together over the years, and I upgrade pieces as necessary. I'll give you a very good example. I spent recently about 1800 bucks to upgrade my streaming PC. And normally, I don't do those kinds of upgrades that so, so quickly. And give me a second. Gotcha. Nice try, buddy. Guys, driver engine, his loader is still up, though. That's a big problem. All right, I'm not going to pick a fight with that. And he's got a friend next to him, I think. Don't worry, I'll get back to that conversation in just a quick second, all right? Let me see if I can just catch this guy a better angle. Don't worry, I hear him, I hear him. Gotcha. Don't gotcha, but I got him on fire, though. Oh, damn it. I thought I had the shot, but I just barely missed it. Um, but like 1800 bucks is a lot of money, you know, and it's, it's worth it for my streaming PC because it's, you know, it make it, it's streaming right now. It does all my, well, most of my recording, but it does all my editing. So to move up from a 10850K to a 13900K, it was kind of, you know, was necessity at that point. Oh, I think the guy disabled. He's still there. Holy sh dude. You must have had one long repair time for me to spawn back in and come kick your butt. Literally and figuratively. Got him. I don't think he knows I'm here. He doesn't know I'm here. Okay, his breach. Okay, I was going to say his breach is really orange, but I don't trust it. Mr. Spawning just isn't with me today, huh? I got one idling front. I can't tell what it is. It sounds like a light tank. Oh. I was right. It was a light tank. You know what's funny? People always ask me, how do you identify things? And everything kind of sounds the same depending on the type of vehicle that it is. MBT, heavy tank, light tank, etc. That's how I do it. What the hell is shooting my teammate? I got what I'm gonna fight this building. Nope. There he is. That's scary. That's a scary vehicle. Hit him right in the ammo. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh man, he does not like me. Holy shit. He did not like me, but you know what? He didn't break anything important. Gotta move. Here's the thing. <laughs> I wanted to get him, but I don't think that'd be a would have been a good idea. Oh, he's still alive. Scratch that, he was alive. There's another one. Holy shit, how many LAVs did they got? Short answer, yes. Gotcha. Perfect. Oh, got a fresh one. Abrams. M1A1, which means that this Phoenix round should be able to go right. No, I'm boned. Nope, leave my breach alone. That's what I thought. You 
really. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he messed up twice. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna lose my life. Uh, yep, there it is. I'm gonna lose my driver or I'm gonna lose something important. And I lost my life. English. I had to ground vehicle. Uh, yes. I'm almost certain of it. Uh, every single nation in the game is going to be getting a high tier uh, premium vehicle. Like the Leopard 2 Panzer Battalion, uh, 96 AP, the terms, so on and so forth. And it only makes sense for them to get it because, I mean, why not? It was, some nations already got it. The Pandora's box has been opened. The cat's out of the bag. May as well bring it in anyway. I got one guy coming up. Is that a... That's a, a QN506, I think. No, it's not. I thought... I, I don't know why I thought a QN506. Um... I, I just never found a need for it. I don't really like the time fuse one where you have to set it manually. It drives me nuts. I'd rather it be proxy because it's a little bit too unreliable to, you know, laze, throw, and the target moves or something. It doesn't help. And yeah, I can probably use it to destroy light tanks via overpressure, but I never found, like, a good use for it. So I've opted to just not bring them at all. If we had regular fragmentation, that'd be a different story. And yes, I get it all the time. Hey, just laze with a dart and then bring out the frag round, right? And then boom, you're good to go. It's like too much work. Especially with 7.1 seconds of reload, way too much work. I got an M1 Abrams right in front of me. No, it's not an M1 Abrams. It's a traitor. Oh. I think that stays at 10.72. I might make a video on this too. Oh, he's got a friend. Cool. I'll take it. No, Panzerstein, absolutely not. No, 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 no. I recommend the T-55 AM-1 over the terms. It is such a wonderful vehicle. Russia has an absolutely outstanding battle rating 8.3 lineup. And the T-55 AM-1 is like the cream de la crop. It really is. I, I think that's how you say it, but... Um, no, no, no. Don't ever feel stupid for it. I would always say, if you're going to be making any sort of expenditure onto War Thunder, or Russia especially in the higher tiers, T-55 AM-1 is by far a wonderful purchase. Even more so if you use my 3% discount, because your boy got to get paid here too. <laughs> Come on, for real, dude. There's like, there's two dudes left. We have like 90 helicopters chilling right above us. Yeah, last guy's over here, you see that? And he's dead. And there's a second target right next to him. He too is dead. Welcome to War Thunder Top Tier, ladies and gentlemen, where we just hold W. Now that I look back to uh, the gameplay, that was a lot of fun. The T90A, I think, is not going to stay at 10.7. I have this weird feeling they are going to move this up to 11.0, in which case I would say maybe it really wouldn't be worth the time to look into because the T90, as it currently stands, is a wonderful vehicle, right? But it's just not true top tier competitive worthiness. Does that make sense? This, now I, I will admit this, it does not experience the same level of what some would say to be some sort of bias as the T80 BVMs would. If you shoot this thing in the ammo, it's gonna pop. If you hit one charge, it's probably going to pop unless you carry so few like I do most of the time. If you hit in the fuel tank, 50-50 chance, right? But the ammunition though, just, it loves to explode when this thing gets penetrated. Not necessarily a bad thing, which means that this is a balanced vehicle, but not to the level of the BVM, which means that this, in my opinion, should stay at 10.7 and i'll be honest with you there's a little bit of personal bias because the t90s as said earlier are one of my favorite tanks in the game and outside of it too i mean i saw that i think louisiana <laughs> just t90 chilling in the gas station oh man lichtenstein i meant it can you make a skin for it please i, I probably have already messaged you by the time you were watching this so yeah there's that but would i recommend it yeah Right now as it stands, hell yeah. Look at this, right? Awesome loadout. 
the 80 um2 which i'm sure many have the bmp2m which moved up the 2s25m the migs you can play with the mi35m which finally has a good lineup for it yeah i i would say this is a solid lineup seeing that those down tiers aren't exclusive but they do come more often than not but hey maybe i am just being sort of biased and uh maybe you should tell me otherwise let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this is it a worthwhile vehicle now that it's you know <laughs> not really top tier anymore even though it kind of is uh or is this still a bad vehicle to which you will never touch ever again who knows let me know i'll chime in my two cents as per usual and one more thing too thank you so much guys for tuning into those streams it's it's a lot of fun it's a lot of work i'll admit not like the hard nine to five job kind of work but it's more of the uh hey a lot of you're putting in a lot of effort into it kind of thing if that kind of makes sense right so thank you so much for coming into there uh if you guys want to see more of it you know exactly where to find me over on twitch and sometimes here on youtube things will kind of level out very soon and I hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay and some of the random banter we did have in it. So, as always, I will see you not only in the next video or even the streams, maybe even in War Thunder itself, most certainly at 11.7. Also, 3% discount. Don't forget it. I'll see you next time.